Hi, I'm Andrew, and I'm back playing some more Noita. After the last episode, I ended up dying on um, on uh, Steve, which is the when you anger the gods in the Holy Mountain. Um, he comes out, and I wasn't ready for him, so I died. And he came because of a worm had cut through into the Holy Mountain, so that gods got angered. So I talked about making backups, so let's show you how to restore a game. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and hit quit. And here is the app data local load NOLA games Noita and save 00. And that's the save for the new game, the new game settings. And here is the zip file I made, the LC plus 33K. And so I'm just going to go ahead and hit control A up here, control C. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste them down here in this folder. And it's going to go through, calculate like 2300 files. And then uh, it takes about a minute and then it's going to start copying them. Now it's going to get to a point roughly about 300 files right about right about here and then it's going to say hey do you want to copy the rest and you can either say yes or no it doesn't really matter um, I'm just going to go ahead and replace the files and continue on and yeah, it's going to be done in just a minute. It, I found it's actually quicker is if you delete the files in the save and then just copy the files from the extracted file that we made before but that's okay. Uh, that didn't take too long. Let's open up Noita again, and we'll see that we'll see that we have now a continue. And if you remember, we were just by the orb room. Now this orb room, after we get this heart right here, can call it a, a boss. And I don't really want to fight that boss. And I don't need that glass bottle. I am going to pick up this orb, but before I get the heart, uh, which might be a different orb for you if you haven't found it yet, I'm going to come up this wall right here. Now this seed has a little spot right here with all those creeper crawlers. And I'm just going to blast a hole right there. And I'm just going to see if I can get as many to come down as I can. And then I'll take care of them in a minute. Okay. All right, now there's a couple more down there, but it's like shooting creeper crawlers in a barrel. As long as you stay up pretty high. And I can get all the gold. I don't really need it, 28,000, but I could get it too. Okay, and I'm gonna get this, and I'm, I might as well just life up. I don't really need to. I'm just going back to the, back to the level one caves but why not just use a couple sips and heal back up all the way all right let's go now there's I only got about maybe 12 or 13 of those crawlers down there oops and if you heard that that's where the big monster comes out it comes out about half the time if you get that orb I found sometimes I've been able to not get the monster to come out but at any rate it's a hard monster and I can't fight him right now so All right, those are the last two it looks like. Right here there's a little dirt. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut through that. Now if I go to the right, that'll be the pyramid and the sandy caves. I'm not quite ready for the pyramid yet. I don't have strong enough wands. And so I'm gonna go back this way. And that's back to the beginning. And every so often I'm gonna cut a little hole like that. And what that's gonna do is let me pour some hastium, uh, which is um, levitation and uh, and uh, let's see, there's also a musical instrument down here. Might as well kick that. Uh, and some levitation and some acceleration potion. And that will let me run past the surface really quick. So that's another good spot right there. And then just over on this side is the mountain where I started, but just on the right side of the mountain. All right, so let's, might as well do another one right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna see if I can't a hole easy right here in the side of the wall there we go I can get through that be a little bit careful now just one thing I'm going to point out I have hearts showing about me and once in a while when you back up and restore you have a little glitch and it's showing that I have pheromone on right now but I don't really have pheromone it's just showing the little signal and so that doesn't really bother me right now if I find some pheromone potion a little later uh, it'll then wear off all right. 
There we go. The orb and the green tablet. Now I don't really need to get the green tablet, but I'll just show you what you can do with it. Because I got one. Oops. Now you don't really need levitation potion to get up here. It just is a lot easier with it. Alright, now if you come up here and drop one of these orbs up here, you get about 150, 200 gold. Like I said, it's not really worth it, uh, especially if you already have Midas Draft. And just to let you know, the other tablet fell down right in, in that little spot, I think. I don't think it rolled all the way off the cliff. It usually dives down about right there. But if you, if you want to run around and find all the green tablets, you can put them up there and then... Um, and then get some more gold. After the second one, the third and beyond, they sometimes... Okay, and I just put a little bit of water on myself to give myself a little fire protection. But here I'm just running down to get into the cave. Or the holy mountain. Now you gotta be careful of one of those. Um, let's see, yep, I've angered the gods. Okay, so because I've angered the gods, I gotta do this as quick as I can. I'm just gonna buy the last two wands. I'm just gonna pull off all this stuff. And you're gonna say, um, how's that gonna be helpful? Well, you'll see, I'm, one, of the, one of the perks is, uh, is gonna be wand experimenter. Uh, let's go ahead and change it out with that one. Let's change it out with that one. And so I'm just going to confuse him. Hurry, fly up here. Drop back down. Confuse him some more so that he can't come out here through the rocks and hopefully gets crushed. There we go. Now that was really close last time he got me because he came over on the other side and was lighting it up. Uh, but he's going to just slowly die right there. And so I'm just going to go ahead and watch. I know that sounds cruel. Oops. Now as I'm also doing this, I'm going to go ahead and drop off all this stuff that I don't want. Now, some of you might like saw blades. I hate them. The thing I hate the most is getting like the fourth saw blade in a row, bouncing off something and um, killing me. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop everything. Now I could keep a couple of those lights they might be fun, but I don't really like them either. And I don't like, I really don't like the triple pattern or the quadruple pattern or the bi pattern. I don't really like any of that. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna just put all this stuff up here on this top wand like that. It's gonna be a nice, powerful, long shooting wand. And he's almost gone. I'm gonna go to my first wand. And there we go. Let's see. Let's see if we can make a little divot. That's a good enough divot. That wasn't a good enough divot. All right, I can heal up right here. And just in case the music's a little too loud, I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit and try it again, continue. All right, I'm full. Let's just go. Loud boss battle music. All right, coal pits. The coal pits have some mushroom caves. This particular coal pits doesn't have anything great to the right, but to the left is the mushroom fungal caverns, and this is the Wand of Wands. Let's go ahead and change out that one. And right now it is on a random, but they're all the same. I'm just going to double check. This one has a faster charge speed, 102, and this one's not so fast. I'm just going to go ahead and drop the uh, two other wands as well that are empty. And get rid of that guy. Now lightning can be dangerous. You can kill yourself with lightning. And if you fall in water, you'll also die. So be careful not to go in water. And right here you just want to go a little bit to the left and then we'll do some mushroom cave exploration. You might as well get a couple guys while you're going. Ooh, see that one? I was too close. 
I got myself. Now here's a couple purple guys. Go a little further, don't fall down in that water. Right over here is one of the few hearts for this level. I actually don't remember if there's any other hearts for this level. And I got stuck, so just kind of bang the keyboard left and right, jump, and there's the heart. All right, so I actually, it might actually look like I made a mistake, but it's not actually too much of a mistake because this first wand, uh, I can put out something like that TNT, and then I can quickly take it off, and it like resets the wand. Has a lot of magic. It's fast. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going to the left. I have to come up a little bit now. And I have to backtrack just a little bit. I don't like slime shooters, especially the toxic poison. You know, I probably don't need it yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of this, only because the mushroom caves can be pretty tough. And I typically like that one right there, so let's do it. Oh man, let's get a little water. All right, there we go. Now it's best to take the mushroom caves slow. And there's a few other secrets I want to show you in here. Oh, for example, look at this, there's some wood in the way. I can just blast through it. gunpowder. I wish you could just take an empty bottle and fill it up with the gunpowder, but apparently there's not a way to do that. All right. All right. I could cut through that wall, but I'm going to actually just come down just a little bit. And once again, being really careful right here. Okay, now there's another wand in there. It's not that great, but let's just go ahead and get it. Once again, it'll reset the wand if I put it there. So I can drop down that eye. Oh, again. Why does it keep lighting me on fire? Ah. All right. Well, that's be And to get it to fire again, I can just move it and move it back. But I'm going to run away from that guy. Oh, let's just blow that up. That time I jumped in the water holding my wand up so that I could... Uh... And remember, I moved it back and then moved it back in again. Now, these are a whole bunch of cherry bombs. Uh, they're pretty good, but, um, but I'm not actually going to need them. I'm going to be able to get some other good stuff after I finish this level. So I'm going to just skip that wand right now. Well, you know, it's 755, 300... Let's go ahead and get it. And I don't like fire trail and I don't like quad. I'll just have some bombs for a while for the moment. I'm going to move that down there. It is a shuffle wand though, so that's not actually going to work. Let's just keep it with regular wands. Let's see, that's 330, 100, 310, 102. The wand that I have lightning on is just slightly better. All right, that wand over there isn't really that great. Let's see if I can blow a hole through it. Yeah, see, these these bombs aren't that great. I could take my time and slowly cut cut a hole, but it's, it's really not worth it. That wand doesn't really have anything. All right, and you've got to be careful. And this wand isn't that good, 190, 50. It's kind of fast, but... Wait, it's a no though. Oh, that's that rat snuck up on me because the of the um, the potion. Okay, let's come up over here. Now, right now, oh no, that one blew me up. All right, see these things can be pretty dangerous. All right, is it gonna work? Let's put it in this little crack. One, two, three. That's plenty. All right, looks like there's a dead robot over there. 
but let's just double check. Ah, just blew myself up again. This lightning wand is hazard, hazardous. Yeah, he's gone. Now this one is great because of this earthquake shock and this energy orb with timer. This energy orb can break through the rocks and this earthquake shot will crumble everything. So this is a really good wand right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out with this one. And I'm also gonna take off this for the moment. All right, but it won't go through steel. It won't go through steel, but it's kind of slow. But look at that, it just cuts right through. Yay! Back to the thunder. There we go, got him. Now fire potion. Don't really need that. This arrow wand is okay. It's a no. Actually, you know what? Because it's a no, I am going to trade it with this one. It's 20, 87, 330. It's a little bit slower than like this lightning wand, but it's going to become a no and it's going to be very valuable, valuable soon. Okay, that potion up there, it would be hard to get with the equipment that I have. And those little helper guys just kind of mock the enemies so instead this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here back on there for a second and it's just gonna crumble I guess I could have just cut through it without it but this will be coming help handy when I'm cutting through steel later all right let's get that guy now it looks like that is a Berserkium Potion. And you know what? Why not? Berserkium Potion makes you really strong. Once again, Saw Blades. It is a no. So let's see if I have any yeses. I do have this yes, but what I really want to do, I think, is trade out these arrows. And I don't really need that one that I... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put an arrow up there. And maybe I'll stack another arrow up there, too. Stack that one, that one, that one. And I'll grab one more arrow in a second to grab that. Now this one over here, I'm going to go ahead and... I already know what I'm going to be doing in the next level, so... Let's go ahead and stack it like that for a second. And then I'll pick up this one, swap it with this yes. And I don't want these giant saw blades in my face. So I'm going to drop those. Okay, great. Now I think I just picked up a, another arrow, yep. So let's just see what it looks like now. That's pretty good. Now this is where I'm going to get confused, and so I'm going to put that wand there, and that wand there, and that's where I'm going to remember where my lightning wand is. Oh no! That guy almost blew up in my face. All right, let's come back down here. I think that was the wand. Oh, there's three more lightning bolts. And it's a no as well. How fast is it? 10 and 40, 104. That's going to be good. Although, you know what? I don't think I'm actually going to need all these lightning bolts. But if you wanted to, you could make a, you could make a pretty powerful fast wand. I'm going to do something else with the lightning bolts instead. Ooh, and there's those frogs right there. They're pretty tough. Get rid of some of these exploding mushrooms. So they're out of my way. Let's get to my lightning wand. Whoa, did you see all that gold right there? When you hit those frogs, they let out a lot of babies. And, um, oh, those babies can be dangerous. Now one thing you might have noticed right there is I didn't get hurt. Oh, this black hole wand is going to be good. But it's slow, and so I think I might switch it back. Although, with black holes, that doesn't matter so much. 10, 40. Hmm. 10, 40 versus that. This is a hard decision. 104. Yeah, the, the charge speed is bad. So I'm going to grab this wand for a second. I'm going to move all this stuff off of this wand, and then I'm going to switch back. 
And besides that, it's weird looking. It's round. All right, let's switch it back to here. Now this is where it's going to be a fun wand. I'm going to stick all this on there. And I'm going to stick a dynamite in front. And what I can do now is I can just shuffle things around, whichever one I need at the time, and get it. All right, I forget. Did I get that wand? Ooh, there's a larva dude up there. There we go. All right, one of the things you're seeing on this is there is just a lot of good wands right from the beginning. And th now we have more energy orbs with timers. But you know what, because I already have all those, that's I'm probably not gonna get this one, except for this one can store eight, and this one can only store um, six. And so this is actually a better wand. And so I'm gonna pop up here for a second. I'm gonna take all this stuff off. And then I'll swap out that wand, and I'll actually drop out those energy orbs of timer. But, Okay, because I already have this wand up here, I might as well just do something like that. I guess it might work a little bit better if I do a shuffle or something. Oops, somebody's coming over here to... Somebody's coming over to get me. All right, I think that's all I'm going to do right now. I'm going to drop these other ones, and then I'm going to go ahead and put on my orbs. You know, I'm going to drop one more because of this. Well, yeah. I think I'll just leave it like this. Now this explosion of thunder is great, but I don't like it as much as um, lightning. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this. See the flammable gas. That can be good if you want to light a big place on fire. But I'm just going to go ahead and drop that as well. You can explore what they do, but I'm just going to skip it for now. All right, this is where the hardies are. And I just, oh, now he just got washed off there. And I think that frog right there, I could also turn him into, let's see, is this the potion I want? I have levitation and this is worm pheromone. It's not that potion. It's down a little bit lower. All right, so now I gotta be careful. There's a robot right there and floating skull and that guy now there's a bunch of wands in these steel boxes that you can't get to but if you use this trick right here oh uh, i was under mushrooms uh, if you use this trick right here you can break into these into these uh, little spaces now it's probably just not big enough to get in there. Oops, and I broke a frozen potion. So don't let that get you. And this one right here, just uh, energy spheres. And this is energy orb with timer. I don't like those energy spheres as much and it's a weaker wand. So I'm just gonna skip on this one as well. Um, let's see, I have some stuff in my way. Oh, you know what I could have done is just use the black hole, of course to get in there. Uh, I forgot about that. Now black hole didn't go very far because it's really humid in here in the mushroom cave and so um, yeah. Alright I gotta get to a lower level. Let's see if I can do that. No I think I gotta go back that way. Or am I done about enough? Done about the whole thing? Let's see. I feel like there's a little bit more. There's this guy. Oops. Uh, I'm low of health again. So that's a good little crack. I guess the mushrooms hold it too. Alright. I want to make sure I take off my earthquake shot. The earthquake shot is what you get on top of the pyramid. So you probably won't be able to find that wand unless you already have it. All right, 
Let's see. What was this want? Fire potion. That's back to the fire potion. Let's go down a little bit more. Um, I'm going to cure this toxic sludge. I don't really feel like wanting to go in there right now. And that ant is really tough. So let's go ahead and... Somehow I got hurt really bad again. I must have shocked myself. So, well, let's just use a little bit more. Healing. All right, it's going pretty good. I, it could be going better because of uh, because of that. Uh, Steve woke up and. That's not that nice, but all right. There's one more down there. I might as well just use a black hole. Ah, just barely not far enough. I don't like those guys. Now this is teleport. I don't really like teleport. And this down there is a water potion. One of them somehow came up out from the spell. Um, there's another rock over here. Let's see, can I get through here pretty easy? There's a lightning rock right there, which I don't really like. And these bees right here are a pain. So let's see if I can shock him. All right, let's go see if I can shock the hive. That's honey down from the hive in case you need honey for one of your recipes. Uh, I'm gonna hold my wand up so I don't shock myself. There's another wand right there. So there's some really good wands for you to choose from. I don't like those as well as what I got right now. So I'm gonna just keep what I got. This, this little spot's just a little lower than I was, so I'm just gonna come over here. Now, it looks like that potion, and it's another confused frog. Yeah, confusion potion. I'm just, I think I've probably done enough. I think there might be another potion or two, but I think I got the ones I really like. Um, there was something in there. But that's okay. All right. There's a portal right here. And remember, Steve is still angry. So let's go ahead and move that off for a second. And what I can do is I might be able to crush him on this side. Oh, you know, I'm low health. I'm low health. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Now, I didn't say I angered the gods yet, but I think he's going to be there. So, let's get to this wand and see if I can't make him... And then I'll quickly switch to my other wand. Now, just to let you know, I am going to want to buy a couple of these wands, like this one right here. That's going to be make my lightning really good. I'm going to want to buy this one so I have more black holes. Uh, the saw blade might be fun to work with. It can make some really fast wands. Here's some bombs I'm going to want, and then here's some more timers. So I'm just going to come over here and see if I can't crush them. Ah, it doesn't look like I did. There, I think I got him. Ooh, almost. There we go, there we go. I got him. I made a mess of the place, but I got him. All right. Now the best one, hands down, on this one's gonna be telekinesis kick. Uh, you can get the other stuff, you can trade it if you want, but I like telekinesis kick right here. 
Now a telekinesis kick, you can move some of these parts around. All right. But I might just need to have to clear out this space. So to do that, let's see, what do I got? I'm gonna first off get the first, well, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy this wand right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use the chainsaw on these, this area to clean it up some. Now, chainsaw can be great. Um, you might want to keep a couple of those. This one's a fast one. Its charge speed isn't that great, though, so. All right. So, you know what? I might as well keep a double cast. I'm going to put that double cast there. I'm going to move all these down. And I'm going to keep a couple chainsaws. All right, now TNT might be silly at this point to keep, but let's think about it. All right, I could get a double cast card. I want some bombs. I could take another double cast card right there. Now right here, if I got a fast wand, I don't care about this stuff up top being random. So I could have traded that one. Okay, that's the one I already bought. Swap out with this one. This one's not a random one, so it might be a good one, but I'm already getting too many items, so we got to start thinking about what we want to do. This one's 18, this one's 27, hey, 27.52, 18.65, but it's 51, so it doesn't charge that, that fast. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't think I need more lightning bolts, so I'll get rid of those. I do like to have a lot of black holes, though. And this wand right here is another great wand because now it ranges those lightning bolts a little further from me and I'm a lot more protected. All right, so out of all the wands that are left, probably this tall one, even though it's random, it's, well, no, that one's not the best. I think this one might be the best. All right, so let's see what we got. We got a no at 10.38, yeah, that's gonna be good. And I'm just gonna put a string of four and another string of four. Let's see, let's do one of those, one of those, one of those. And this one shoots pretty fast, straight. Oh, it's 10 degree spread though. So that's not that great. Oh well. And I'm just gonna drop the rest of these. Now this top wand is going to be my mining wand. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put all those up there, all those bombs. Uh, at this point, I don't know if I really want these two anymore. And if you notice, I still haven't picked up any of the crystals or life potions. Uh, because guess what? This right here is working great. Now each one does give you plus 10 health but I want to be able to save them in case I run out of this potion. I can just come back through and pick up a couple. All right, let's see what we got going now. Now that's that wand. That's that wand. Let's just try something out really quick. Let's put a saw blade or a chainsaw after... Um, Let's try that. I think I might like that, we'll see. I'm wondering if I should do a double card though. Let's just check out what it looks like. All right, that's the first one, that's the third wand. Okay, so this is gonna be my digger wand. Hey, that's not bad. I mean, it runs out of mana eventually, but then it charges pretty quick. All right, so I'm to the snowy area. And I'm not gonna do too much of the snowy area right now other than show you that this wand is pretty good. I'm just gonna go back over to where I made Midas Potion in the last video and um, climb up and go back over to the pyramid. I'll come back later and explore this a little bit more. All right, so I just mixed those up and so uh, Black Hole is gonna be the first one. Hey, that was pretty good. All right, right up there, just a little ways, I know there's a good potion. 
but I should probably check to see if it's still there. Right. All right. I don't like that. Let's uh, put out a little bit of water. Wash off that. All right, so the potion is still there. I'm gonna come back over here so I can get that potion to mix. And this is a pretty big deep pit. I don't think it's gonna be too big. And because I'm getting another bottle, I'm just gonna throw that one out. All right, lightning is powerful. All right, now that wand is in a metal case you can dig up from the bottom, or I have plenty of black holes. I could just use a black hole. This time I don't want to throw my potion because I want to pick it up, so I'm just going to drain it out. This is acceleration potion, which is when it mixes with haste, um, levitation, it makes hastium. So let's make some hastium potion. And that's more than enough. Uh, oh, actually, it's probably a little too much. The last little bit's not mixing, so I'm just going to dump the... Oh, I was done. And I just want to siphon off the top, although it doesn't really matter if I get some of the other stuff mixed in there, too. All right. Now, I just want to warn you right here, there is a treasure box, but I already have been here, and I know that this is a an enemy. Okay, this wand right here has some good stuff. Um, because it has a really slow charge rate, I'm gonna actually pass on it, and if you don't know what those are, I'll let you find out for yourself. These other dropper bombs can be really powerful, but I'm not gonna use them right at the moment. Oh. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna switch back to there. And so now I have my cutter wand, my mining wand, and I have my um, quick shooter wand, and then I also have my lightning wand, which is really powerful. Okay, I don't particularly like those things right there, so I'm going to see about blowing it up. And I don't really like flying wasps, because somehow I get lit on fire all the time. Now I'm holding my wand up so I don't shock myself, and this is where I started in the snowy cavern. There's some of that potion that I made. I could get it some more gold. Yeah, why don't I get up to 30,000? I could just do this all day, but I gotta stop, I gotta stop. All right. And this is where I could cap some of that potion if I needed to. And here's another little spot over here. I could get some more gold. Get more gold, more gold! No, I need to stop. I need to stop. <laughs> All right. So next, we're back over here where we'll need to climb up this tower right here. Now, you can climb up either side. I just find climbing up this side just to be a little bit easier. Then climbing up the other side. There was the tablet. You can go back in there if you want to trade in all your tablets and find and fight really hard guys. Uh, I think I'll skip. Okay, right here, the a boss might appear if it hadn't already appeared, and so I'm just gonna. Oh, I hear the boss music. I'm gonna run. All right. Okay, now this is where I was talking about leaving a little divot every now and then. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it up, and I'm just going to go ahead and run. And I'm just going to wait for it to, I could put another one right there, but I'm just going to see if I can get all the way to where, yep, this is where I want to go. Alright, I'm going to cut a little hole right there and put some more in there. Now just to let you know, this one you can cut down and dig down in there, but there's nothing really down at the bottom. It just gets to the hard rock. I'm just going to use that. I'm going to run as fast as I can. Let's see if I can make it. Now I've heard there's a secret to this bird head, but 
I haven't been able to get it to work. I think you have to have a cloud with rain clouds in it and then you fill it up, but um, I'm not entirely sure. All right, this is exactly where I wanted to get to. So let's make another big crack. And I'll fill it up and I'm gonna fly to the top. I could have gone in the pyramid right there, but I don't really need to. Up here up top is where the orb is. Now this is where you'd get the earthquake uh, rod. And so you might wanna get this before you go down to the cave so that you can get that earthquake wand uh, that I was showing you. Um, but you can also do that right there. Now right here is where you can fight the boss. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right in. I mean, I'll clean out the enemies after. Now before I fight the boss, however, I'm gonna clean out just a couple of these um, monsters like this one. Uh, there's a potion guy right there. I'm just gonna see if I can do it without making him know that I'm here. All right, I am full. So this is another good time to save, save and quit. All right, so now that I've saved it, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna come up on this one and I'm gonna click back. Uh, that looks good. And I already had one for the pyramid boss, but I actually didn't like it because I didn't explore the mushroom cave. And so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. I'm also gonna delete this one right here. Oops, click on that. All right, right click, okay, right click, delete and then I'm gonna make a new pyramid boss. What happened is uh, I was looking like a fool, so <laughs> I decided to not use that video. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and right click this one and send to a zipped folder. Uh, send to compressed and it's done. And I'm gonna rename this one now pyramid, oops. All right, P cap lock, P pyramid, ah, that's good enough. It's where the pyramid boss is. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started again and let's see if I can't do the pyramid boss a little bit better this time. All right, 